What's up, Minecrafters? KC here, and welcome to episode 11 of my Mod World series. I'm just going to take care of this spider. I think that should be enough. During the last episode, I worked on the ability to create these oak trees. Using my magic staff, I can place it in tree mode and tap on the ground, and it grows an oak tree automatically. And today I'm going to be working on doing something similar for mushroom trees. So this is a tree that I built by hand. I have already defined these new blocks that would not normally be available to you in Minecraft 0.8.1 anyway, which is the uh, version I'm using currently. But I wanted to prototype this because there were a couple of things that I wanted to understand. I wanted to understand what I want that tree to look like. And I want to reuse as much of the functionality as I can uh, in the functions that I created to build trees. So just as a quick uh, refresher on that, I can place my staff into tree mode. And if I tap a grass block, it grows a tree. And it will grow trees of different heights. Uh, it just so happened that it wanted to generate a short tree there. Uh, and so here it generated a, a taller tree. So again, for my mushroom trees, I want to do something similar. I want to grow mushroom trees of different heights. And also, the trees that I am generating uh, currently fit within a 5x5 five five area, meaning 5 blocks across by five blocks deep, if you will. So I want to confine my mushroom trees to that same type of area. And then the other thing that I did was inside this hollow section of my mushroom tree, I placed a couple of jack-o'-lanterns there. And that'll provide a nice effect at nighttime where there'll be a small amount of light coming and shining on the ground just below the mushroom tree. So with that in mind, I'm going to switch over to my code editor and begin building the code to generate a mushroom tree. Here in my code editor, you can see where I've defined the blocks that are required for my mushroom tree. I used block ID 175. Uh, I called that a mushroom block, and then I defined the textures for it. And then I defined block ID 176 for the stem uh, or the trunk of the mushroom tree um, and define the texture for that as well. So I've already completed that bit of it and I needed to do that again so I could prototype that tree and understand what I wanted to construct. And again, one of my goals here is to try to reuse the method that I developed to build the oak trees. So the majority of that was happening in a function that I created called do build tree. And so I will need to just modify that slightly, I believe, to grow these mushroom trees. If you watched the last episode, I described what this definition string is. But basically, this definition string is defining the structure of a tree. So one of the things that I'm going to want to do, again, is to reuse this function. I'm going to, instead of defining this string here, I'm going to pass that in as a parameter to this function. And then I'm going to move this out uh, up to the top of my script. And I'll place that here. And what that again is doing is it's defining the structure uh, of my tree. So again, I've moved this out to be a global variable. Uh, but I'm going to change its name. I'm going to call that tree def. And then when I tap the ground with my magic staff, I currently have code that is calling do build tree. And if I am in tree mode and I tap block ID 2, which is a grass block, I call do build tree. Uh, but here I'm going to pass in tree def. So to produce my mushroom tree, I'm going to have to define a new mode for my magic staff. I'm just going to call this mushroom mode. So up here where I've defined tree mode, I'm going to create a new variable called mushroom 
mode. And again, I'm going to default that to false, uh, similar to what I did with tree mode. And then the way that I toggle that off and on is through the chat window. Uh, so I will want to do the same thing for mushroom mode. So I will just find that function uh, and define that in the proc CMD. So the very last uh, case statement here is where I am defining tree mode. So I'm just going to copy this. and paste it and then modify the code slightly for my mushroom tree. So copy and paste. So here if I type in mushroom mode into the chat window I will need to toggle mushroom mode off or on. Very similar to what I'm doing with tree mode here. And then I am outputting that to the chat window so that I could see that that was successful. And here I will just indicate that mushroom mode is on. Otherwise, I'll indicate that mushroom mode is off. And I just need to add my break here. So this additional code here in proc CMD will allow me to toggle mushroom mode off or on. And I think to just be safe here, if I enter tree mode, I'm going to force mushroom mode uh, to be false. And then similarly in mushroom mode uh, I'm going to force tree mode equal to false. And I think that will save me some uh, difficulty where I may have my wand in tree mode and then I switch to mushroom mode and then I turn mushroom mode off I would still uh, for example, be in tree mode. So those uh, couple lines there are just preventing that from happening. So to this point, I have the ability to enter in mushroom mode. I also have added the code that allows me to tap a grass block and generate a tree. I will want to do, again, something very similar here uh, for mushroom mode. So let me just scroll back to that section of code. And I'm going to uh, basically copy this function again. Or copy this if statement. Now my copy and paste doesn't seem to be working properly. So copy, paste, okay. So I'll just want to check here to see if I am in mushroom mode. And if that's the case, I'm going to call do build tree. Uh, but this time I'm not going to pass in tree def. I'm going to create a new uh, string value called mushroom def uh, and call do build tree with that. So the next thing I'm going to do is define that mushroom def string. Uh, and I'll explain this. Uh, I explained what I was doing in the uh, previous episode for building oak trees. So I'm declaring a new variable called mushroom def. And basically this is going to define the structure for my mushroom tree. Uh, and so the way I thought of it is look just looking at tree def, each line of tree def represents a layer of the tree and it's defined from the ground up. And for tree def, a zero represents an empty block or an air block. Uh, and looking at that first line, a three represents a wood block. That first line is 25 characters long, and that's because I'm building a, in a five by five area for that layer. And so each uh, set of five uh, characters there 
represents one row of that layer. And then the next five characters, uh, if you can imagine, represent the row behind that row. So I'm going to use a similar type of uh, structure here in defining my mushroom tree. So uh, just thinking about that again from ground level, the mushroom tree really starts at the center uh, of that 5x5 five five area, the block that I've tapped. So if I step out two blocks away from the center of that area, which is where I'm going to place the trunk, I would have nothing, uh, no blocks there at ground level. Uh, so I would indicate that by uh, placing five zeros. Then the layer or the row behind that uh, would again be all empty. And then I get to the row that contains the first tree trunk or mushroom stem. Uh, and so thinking about it again within the context of that 5x5 five five area, I would have two empty blocks. And then I would have my trunk for my mushroom tree. And I'm going to use a 4 to designate that. Uh, and then I would have two empty spaces. So again, that is representing that row of five characters uh, represents um, the row that contains the, uh, the stem of the mushroom tree. Uh, and then I would have one, two, three, four, five uh, empty spaces on the row behind that. And then again, one, two, three, four, five uh, empty spaces behind that. Uh, so again, that's my method for uh, defining the structure uh, of my mushroom tree. And so that, again, represents the entire uh, first layer. Now, the second layer, uh, I'm just going to copy that because the second layer would be identical uh, to that. And again, keeping in mind that my build tree function has the ability to generate three different heights of trees, uh, a short tree, a medium tree, and a tall tree. Uh, so I will copy this again. And that represents the bottom portion of the tree, the first three layers of a tall tree where there would be nothing except that middle uh, trunk uh, or mushroom stem portion of the tree. So the next line or the next layer, uh, which would be the fourth layer off the ground, here I would begin having uh, some mushroom blocks. So those red blocks that are part of my mushroom tree. So my mushroom tree that I built and the way I want it to be constructed has no blocks in the corners. Uh, so the first thing I would do would be to enter a zero because I want no blocks there. And then I would have three mushroom blocks and then no block. So for the row behind that, uh, that would uh, start with a mushroom block. And because my mushroom tree was hollow, I would have three empty spaces and then a mushroom block. Then I get to the row that contains the stem. Uh, so here I would have a mushroom block and then I would have no block, which again is sort of that hollow area inside of my mushroom tree. And then I would have a stem and then I would have no block and then I would have a mushroom block. Then the layer behind that, I would have a mushroom block three empty spaces, a mushroom block. And then for that back side of the tree on this layer, I would have uh, I would have no block, three mushroom blocks, and no block. And again, that represents that back side of the tree where the uh, tree has no corners. And so that's why I would only have three fives there. This layer then would be duplicated Let's see, what have I done here? Oh, place just some additional spaces in, that's fine. Uh, so again, this layer would be duplicated a couple of times. And then I would get to the, uh, the top of my tree. And so the way that's going to look is I would have nothing for that first row of blocks. And then just behind that, I would have uh, no block, three mushroom blocks, no block. Uh, and then the row behind that would be no block, three mushroom blocks, no block. 
Uh, and then I would have that one more time. And then finally I would have five empty spaces. So that should define the structure for my mushroom. Now I think I've done something wrong here. I may need to come back and redefine these. I think my copy and paste uh, did not work properly because it appears as though right now these uh, I would have these one, two, three uh, layers for the trunk of the tree and then I should have three layers for the uh, mushrooms. So I'm going to have to redefine those. And again, that's just a copy and paste error here on my part. So I'm going to uh, just quickly make that correction. So that would be no block, mushroom blocks, no block, and then a mushroom block, no blocks, a mushroom block, and then a mushroom block, no block, a stem, and then no block, mushroom block, and then Yep, and then I would have a mushroom block, no blocks, mushroom block, and then finally I would have no block there. So that should be what I had typed in before. So I need to copy that. I'm just having difficulty here with my copy and paste. Uh, so I want to duplicate that here. and then copy that one more time. Okay, so that looks more correct to me. Now, one of the things that I had was I had a couple of jack-o'-lanterns uh, up in the mushroom tree. Uh, so I'm going to use a six to represent those. Uh, and so I believe now that that properly defines the structure of my mushroom tree. So last change that I need to make is inside of my build tree function, I need to properly handle those new block types. So that would be here. I'm inside of do build tree. Uh, so these inside of this switch statement, these cases, uh, those are all things that are required for my oak tree. Uh, and so I had created some new characters here to represent my uh, values for my mushroom tree. So uh, case four, again, for me, is going to represent my mushroom stem. So I would do a level dot set tile on x1, y1, z1 with a value of uh, one 70, let's see, 176, that's what I had defined. And then a value of 5, uh, for me, again, represents a mushroom block. And that's block ID 175, which again is one of my custom blocks that I made. Uh, and then finally, I have a case six, which will be my jack-o'-lantern block. And a jack-o'-lantern is uh, block ID 91. So I believe that completes all of my code changes. I will need to test uh, that. But I have the ability to place my staff in mushroom mode. I have the ability to click on a grass block. Uh, which is the place I want to uh, build the mushroom tree. And I've defined the definition of my mushroom tree. Uh, and I'm handling the different block types now in my uh, do build tree method. So I'm going to uh, close now out of my code editor and enter into block launcher and see if my script loads and then go into Minecraft. So my script loaded successfully. Uh, there were no errors loading the script, but again, it doesn't mean that it works properly. I will need to test that now. So I'm going to move to an open area over here, 
Um, and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to place my magic wand in mushroom mode. And I get the feedback that tells me that that was uh, successful. My wand is in mushroom mode now. So next thing for me to test is to tap the ground and see if I grow a mushroom tree. Uh, and so I do. This uh, is a tall mushroom tree. Uh, and in my previous uh, video, episode 10, where I defined the logic for building the oak trees, I'm handling uh, some random uh, heights of trees. So this particular uh, tree uh, generated a random number that indicated it wanted to be a tall uh, tree. And my mushroom blocks, uh, or sorry, my jack-o'-lantern blocks are there. So I'm going to uh, test build just a couple of more trees. So that is another taller mushroom tree. And again, these should be generating at random. So there's a short mushroom tree. And I'm not sure what my chances are for building a medium-sized tree, uh, but at some point it would generate a random number that would uh, cause that to happen as well. So that appears to be successful to me. If I now switch back into tree mode, then I should be able to tap the ground and build a, an oak tree. So I can switch between those two modes and build mushroom trees or oak trees. Uh, so I'm satisfied with that. Uh, the other thing I wanted to do would just be to switch to night mode and see how those mushroom trees look uh, with the jack-o'-lanterns shining the light down uh, from those upper levels. So I can kind of see that already happening. It's not quite nighttime yet, especially in this lower tree where the jack-o'-lantern blocks are closer to the ground. Uh, that seems to be, uh, you can see the light there. And as it gets darker, you can begin to see the light shining down from inside the, the taller trees as well. So I'm satisfied with that. I have the ability now to, if I switch back to mushroom mode, to simply tap a grass block and build mushroom trees. So I think I will end the episode here. Thank you for watching. I've enjoyed creating this episode, and I look forward to the next episode.